Assalamualaikum viewers. Hope for best of your health and iman. And today's topic is inflorescence. You're gonna see the definition and some types of the inflorescence. So let's get started. First of all, the definition. What is inflorescence? Inflorescence is the arrangement of the flowers on the axis or the pedangle resulting in for the clusters of the groups of the you know uh, uh, flowers so it is known as inflorescence so inflorescence to have an arrangement have flowers ki peduncle ke upar peduncle wo aapke paas uski jo hai base hai jiske upar flowers arrange hota hai aur attach hota hai axis ke sath so arrangement hai flower ki peduncle ke upar wo kisi bhi tarah ke ho sakti hai aap is diagram mein dekh sakte hain different arrangement hai kuch flowers ek level pe present hai kuch flowers jo hai wo branching unki start ho rahi hai single point se kuch ki different point se start ho rahi hai kuch flowers jo hai wo different axis पे डिफरेंट लेवल्स पे है सो दिस अरेंजमेंट इज नाउन एज इन्फ्लुएंसेस इसके कुछ जो है वी गोना डिस्कस द स्टडीज ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंसेस एंड टुडेस एपिसोड वी गोना सी द टू देयर आर देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंसेस सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस एंड कंपाउंड इन्फ्लुएंसेस सो देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस एंड कंपाउंड इन्फ्लुएंसेस इस सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस मे बी रेसमोस और द साइमोस अकॉर्डिंग टू द मोड ऑफ द ब्रांचिंग so it depends on the branching and in compound inflorescence the main axis is branched and bears the flowers on the same manners as on the main axis so simple inflorescences mein two types hai ek racemose inflorescences hai and the other one is the cymose inflorescences aur ye dono types jo hai wo differ karti hain apni branching ki base pe and uh, compound inflorescences in compound inflorescences there is a uh, the main axis has branching so if they have branches they bear, bear the flowers in the same manner as on the main axis. एक्सिस ब्रांचेस पे भी वो फ्लावर्स जो प्रेजेंट है वो सब उसी मैनर में प्रेजेंट होंगे जिस तरह से मेन ब्रांच में होंगे एंड इन टुडेस एपिसोड वी गोना सी द सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस एंड इट्स टाइप्स लाइक रेसमोस एंड द साइमोस एंड इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड स्टे ट्यून्ड वी गोना सी द कंपाउंड इन्फ्लुएंसेस अ सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस सो इन द सिंपल इन्फ्लुएंसेस द फर्स्ट टाइप इज द रेसमोस इन्फ्लुएंसेस इन दिस टाइप ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंसेस द मेन एक्सिस कंटीन्यूअस टू ग्रो अंटिल द लास्ट फ्लावर इज फॉर्मड एट द एपिक्स सो इसमें यह कि जो लास्ट फ्लावर आप फिगर में देखें कि लास्ट फ्लावर जो एक्सिस है उस वक्त तक ग्रो करता है जब तक लास्ट फ्लावर उसके एपिक्स पे जो है वो प्रोड्यूस नहीं होता उस वक्त तक जो एक्सिस है वो ग्रो करता है किस तरह से ग्रो करता है एक्रोपिटल सक्सेशन डेट इज यंगर फ्लावर नियर द एपिक्स एंड द ओल्डर फ्लावर नियर द बेस सो यू सी द ओल्ड फ्लावर्स आर बिलो नियर द बेस एंड द यंगर फ्लावर्स आर नियर द एपिक्स Uh, the second in some cases cases apex becomes the disc like structure because in these cases the centripetal arrangement the older is on the periphery and the younger is at the center uh, when a uh, you know the apex becomes uh, flattened and compressed and it forms a disc like structure so you going to see the uh, uh, difference that at the disc uh, the flowers which are the older flowers they uh, arrange at the periphery and the uh, you know younger flower they uh, arrange in the center so in this way arrange in the disc format so this is known as centripetal arrangement there are the types of uh, racemose inflorescences uh, so we're going to see the racemose inflorescences the first one is a simple raceme which is axis is elongated flowers are pedicellate and pedicel is same size so pedicellate means they have the pedicel or the stalk with which the flowers are attached to the stem and axis is elongated and the pedicel all are the same size so all the pedicel or the stalks have the same size and it occurs in delphinium agessis you know it's a family ranunculaceae The second type is the corymb, which is the axis elongated flowers are pedicellate and pedicel of the older flowers are longer than the younger. So all the flowers same level. For example, Iris amara. So आप देखेंगे इसमें क्या है कि जो corymb है उसमें pedicel हैं जो long flowers, older flowers के उनके pedicel longer than the younger flowers. So in this case, flowers are arranged at the same level. And the example is Iris amara. The third type is spike. The main axis elongated flowers are sessile, and paper longum, which is the long paper, is the example of the spike. Uh, main axis elongated and flowers are the sessile. Sessile means they do not have stalks. Without stalks, are attached to the stem. A uh, fourth one is the catkin. Uh, catkin is the uh, pendulous spike, which is bearing the unisexual, uh, unisexual sessile flowers. For example, the Morris alba, which is mulberry. So in catkin, pendulous spike, which is pendulum-like, you know, pendulous spike, it is arranged and bearing the unisexual sessile flowers. Flowers are sessile without the stalk and the unisexual. You know, they have the only one sex. 
so uh, in this way they have uh, both sexes on the one uh, flower so it's uh, unisexual flowers and the morus alba which is the mulberry it's example of catkin next is pedix a modified spikes with a flesh axis fleshy axis mean they have the thick axis and the pedix is enclosed by the bracts and known as the spikes so the uh, pedix it is enclosed by the uh, bracts which are known as spikes and it is found in the uh, monocotyledonous family monocotyledony which is the present in the plants of the family aracaceae arums musaceae and palmi which are all the monocotyledons next type is umbel the main axis is shortened and in the, uh, the involucular or the bracts whorl which is present and in flowers arise from the axil of the bracts and each flower has pedicel of the same length spreading from a common point that is alum uh, sepa onion so spadix is that type in which is modified this is a modified spike just the uh, axis is more fleshy or the thicker than the simple spike and spadix is enclosed by the bracts this uh, is known as a spath and uh, uh, sorry umbel the main axis is shortened and the involucular of the uh, bracts which is whole uh, which is whorl is present so whorl of the bracts is present and the main axis is little bit shortened and uh, the flowers arise from the same point of the bracts, uh, bracts you know the same point and the main axis of the bracts and the uh, have the pedicel of the same length so spreading from the common point and the example is alum sepa onion you can see in the uh, example of the onion how the flowers are arranged next we have is the capitulum which is now also known as head capitulum is also known as a race moss head and it is the most advanced in florences and the pedic ped uh, and the peduncle is short flattened and broad and flowers are called the florets so a capitulum is that type which is in which the flowers uh, the peduncle is flattened and compressed in a disc like manner so uh, the flowers are known as florets and the flowers are arranged in a circle from the older flowers are towards the periphery and the younger flowers are in the center so it is known as uh, the example you can see in the helianthus annuus which is sunflower here in the figure you can see all the types that is first one is the simple raceme you see how the flowers are arranged second is the spike like like a spike so these are the arranges and cactin you see how they alternate and uh, uh, you know branching uh, uh, the flowers are arranged and um, uh, it comes out and spadix you see which is uh, with a thick uh, spike little bit thick axis so this is the spadix third uh, next is the corin uh, the branches you see from the uh, uh, different longer branches and uh, shorter branches and they comes to the same level next is umbel so they uh, the branching all the peduncle are coming out of from the single point and all the flowers are at the same level and the last one is the capitulum which is a disc like peduncle and having all the flower florets which are arranged in the circle form next we have the cymos inflorescence cymos in inflorescence have other types which is the juniperus or, or the monoxy uh, cyme so here the main axis ends in a flower and it produces only one lateral branch at a time ending in a flower so one branch ending in a flower from the main axis and the lateral and the succeeding branches again produce only one branch at a time like the primary one so you see it is like the branching in which the one uh, the main branch is divided in a have only just one more branch and the same uh, the next branch have only more one branch so in this way they are arranged and there are three forms of the uh, uniperous kind which is the helicoid kind when the lateral axis develops success, uh, develop successively on the same side and forming a short helix so in this way uh, sort of a helix and the cymos inflorescence is known as the helicoid or the one sided cyme example is begonia or the juncus so you see the helicoid its name shows that it is a helix like structure that the branching successively from the same side next we have this corpoid cyme which is when the lateral branches develop in the alternate sides and forming a zigzag pattern and the cymos in process is known as the scorpoid or the alternate sided sign it is in the gossypium cotum so you see in this way the uh, alternate branching take place the difference is uh, branching alternate or the same sided or the both sides the next is the sympodial sign which, which is the sometimes in monoxial or the juniperus sign successive axis may at first curved or the zigzag so as in this corpoid can you see but the later on becomes the straight due to the rapid growth so uh, the first they have the curved zigzag manner and next in later times they going to have because of the rapid growth becomes the straight so thus forming a central or the pseudo axis and this type of the inflorescence is also known as sympodial sign
as found in some of members of the Solanaceae and example Solanum nigra. Uh, next we have the biparous or the dicasial kind. Uh, in this type of the inflorescences, the peduncle bears a terminal flower. Terminal flower and stops the growing. So terminal flower when grow, they stops growing. And at the same time, the peduncle produces two later younger flowers or the two lateral branches, each of which terminates in a flower. For example, jasmine. So a branch is single but terminate kari a flower. Ke saad, it may have more branches, but the same all the branches gonna terminate with one flower. So this is the example of the uh, biparous and uh, it has the jasmine. Next we have multiparous or the uh, polyaxial uh, kind, which is in this type of the cymos inflorescence, the main axis culminates in a flower and at the same time it again produces a number of lateral flowers. Not one, number of lateral flowers around and the oldest flower is in the center and and the main floral axis peduncle. For example, Arc UC Calotropis procera. So, multiple uh, 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 multiple parasites polyaxial sign in this type main axis branches into many lateral flowers so uh, lateral flowers bahut sare uh, lateral flowers ikatthe grow karenge around it and forming the older one in the center and the younger sides and the main floral axis peduncle pe wo end kar denge and the axis is example is calotropis procera arc so i hope it will be helpful for you let's see the figure here we have the cymos uh, inflorescence and the figure simple diaxium you see in the first that is a jasmine uh, jasmine example you have so they have a simple um, uh, simple uh, simple diaxium the second we have the monaxial helicoid form which is the helical uh, type which you see the, it is formed like a helical structure on the one side and the next we have the compound diaxium which is uh, you know little bit complex than the first one have many branches and the uh, 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 below we see the poly, uh, polyaxial sign which is uh, you know is uh, multiple levels the branches goes on so i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe comment like bye bye allah hafiz